everybody this is modern refugee out here in uh, the woods today I wanted to do a video for you guys to uh, show you some strategies to cut uh, firewood um, if there's ever SHTF or you couldn't use chainsaws you had to do it kind of uh, clandestinely so to speak where uh, you're not making a lot of noise not disturbing much um, so I got my whites on here just to kind of show you and illustrate how uh, how the white um, blends you into the environment here. Um, cutting firewood, um, I think is very important um, skill to have and to know a little bit about it if there's ever an SHTF situation because it's a very common fuel that everybody has access to. And uh, I'm out here in the woods today, not everybody has a, a woods where they can uh, cut wood like this, but there's a lot of places that have wood, whether it's in uh, suburban areas, semi-rural areas, um, there's just, there's wood around if you know exactly where to look. And there's even um, places where municipalities will take wood um, to dispose of it, like if they cut trees down in a city and stuff, and it's a good thing to find out where these places are, because even if you're in a, in a urban or a suburban environment, if you can locate those places, talk to those people, you might have a a little bit of access to uh, free wood, whether it be in wood chips that you could use in rocket stoves or smaller pieces of limbs like what I got here, where you could uh, cut those up very simply to uh, cook small meals, boil water, stay warm, that kind of stuff. And that's what I was uh, out here uh, showing you guys how to do. Um, if you're cutting wood kind of quietly, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a saw and you're going to need something to transport it out. It's winter time here of course um, and I'm a firm believer in these tubs these tubs can be used summer and winter for different things it uh, makes bare and heavier loads um, much much easier this one here is a Viking there's pelican ones I have those as well um, it's just a good tool to have they're lightweight they're about 50 bucks and uh, they just they have them just tons of different uses um, you can see here this piece of wood that I got isn't very big around and the reason I cut smaller pieces like this especially if it was a uh, sort of a clandestine uh, wood cutting trip. Um, I would cut smaller pieces that way you can get in and out uh, quickly and uh, these smaller pieces if you don't have big axes and mauls and wood splitting stuff pieces this size if you have a good sturdy bushcraft knife with a full tang like most people have in uh, their packs or whatnot um, you can split this wood up into smaller pieces so you can put it in a rocket stove or a small campfire whatever that you need and uh, as far as saws go, you can use commercial bow saws, pruning saws. This happens to be a uh, my takedown buck saw that I built here on the uh, Dave Canterbury style with a couple of uh, axe handles. Um, I got the uh, hardwood blade in it right here. Got a uh, carrying pouch here that I sewed out a couple of uh, pieces of denim that were actually from a old uh, pair of jeans. I used the pant leg to uh, cut this to keep all my wood cutting stuff in. Um, I'm going to cut a little bit of wood now. I'm going to get uh, this tub loaded up. We're going to get this out and then uh, I'm going to actually take you back to my place and I'm going to show you uh, how to cut this wood up into usable sections when you're at um, when you're at your place. I've actually constructed a, uh, a saw buck there and uh, that saw buck is for specifically for uh, cutting small pieces of wood for me or my neighbors. Um, if there would happen to be a grid down situation where we would need to cut wood quietly where we wouldn't have access to a chainsaw. So anyway guys I'm going to uh, get this uh, cut up and uh, gonna get this tub filled up. We're gonna get out of here and then I'm gonna take you back to my place show you the uh, saw buck and we'll do a little bit of a wrap up. All right, guys, we're back home now. Here's the uh, tub of wood that we uh, harvested from the woods just a little while ago. It was all dead fall that I uh, cut up today. And uh, here is my saw buck. And uh, what a saw buck is, is it's, uh, it's a device to hold uh, wood so you can cut it either with a chainsaw or by hand. And I made this specifically if we would ever have to uh, cut wood by hand, kind of quietly, off grid, no chainsaw, whatever. That's one of the reasons why I made this. And this is how it holds the wood. You just lay it down in the X's here and it uh, holds the wood so you, can, uh, so you can cut it. The end sticks out and then the pieces fall down. And if I come around to this side here, you can see I've got another piece that fills in that gap there and that's when I get down to a small 
piece of wood. I still have a place where I can put pressure on while I'm cutting right there. I wanted to show you guys this kind of up close here so you understand how it is. All you do to make one of these saw bucks is you take two equal pieces of wood and you drill a hole in the center of them and uh, you put a bolt through there with a nut on one end, a couple of washers to hold it in that X shape and uh, give you an idea here of what that looks like. And you make three of these, one in the center and uh, one on either end. And the X should be about as uh, high as what your wrists uh, hang when you're just standing naturally so the uh, height is right, so it's about the height of a counter. And uh, I believe these pieces of wood that I cut here were 42 uh, inches and that's for my main pieces and then you just put braces of two by fours both on the top by the x and down on the bottom and you don't even you don't even have to uh square that bottom uh piece of that saw buck up you want a little bit of a point on there so it digs into the ground as you can see right there just uh, a real simple tool here that i uh, constructed um, just so we have something that we can cut wood with but I, like i said i wanted to show you guys a little bit what this looks like here so you guys got an idea and if you would ever want to build one for yourself and uh, it actually works very efficiently both with a, a handsaw or a uh, chainsaw well anyway i'm going to uh start bucking some of this uh, wood up now like you can see there like i said earlier i got uh, smaller pieces i did this uh Sort of uh, as a demonstration, if you don't have an axe or something, uh, you could split these smaller pieces with a bushcraft knife a lot easier. That's why I cut smaller pieces today. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys are getting a little information and a little entertainment out of my videos here. Um, just uh, cutting wood here by hand, um, just as practice, if there was ever an SHTF. Um, situation where we could uh, cut a little firewood uh, by hand show you guys the tools here anyway you guys have a good day